I'm Vijay Vaitiswaran, China Business and Finance Editor for The Economist and Chairman of the Ideas Economy Event Series. You're about to see one of the highlights from our 2013 Ideas Economy Innovation Forum. I hope you enjoy it. Tell us what you think at hashtag Ideas Economy. You know, you're a 125 year old plus company um, and you make one very, very profitable product as well as many, many other products. Uh, but you got something right early on. It's very easy not to innovate and just to milk the cow, as it were. Um, how do you make sure that your dinosaur <coughs> dances? You know, how do you uh, keep the culture of innovation uh, at a big and old company? And how much time have we got? To it? <laughs> you got three um, minutes. Oh. <laughs> so um, there, you know, there's so many dimensions to to this answer, um, and and I think it goes back. Let's go back to the definition of innovation you gave earlier, VJ. Is you know, is something new plus you know, adding value, and 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 then it goes to the definition of value. Is of course it's economic value, but it's also value to the communities and societies in which you operate. And as we've saw earlier and discussed, sustainable value in terms of the planet in which we operate. So you have to kind of innovate against all of those dimensions. Now, yes, we want everyone to be participating in the in the in the movement of innovation and be innovative, and and we're not doing such a bad job. I mean, in the last five years, we added $4 billion brands to our portfolio in, in tea, in juices, in water, uh, and also in, in soft drinks. So that's good. But that's innovation for the core. And that's what we refer to as tier one innovation. And then there's innovation for the adjacent business. And you probably want the people that deal with the day-to-day -day business to focus on driving incremental innovation in all areas, those four dimensions that I just mentioned, right, around the core and adjacent. But there's then innovation that we refer to as tier three, which is breakthrough and disruptive innovation. How do we disrupt ourselves? And, and you don't want our 700,000 associates around the world in 207 countries to ask this question. And I think that is where you actually want to empower a group of people, very distributed, but connected, mm -hmm. that share common purpose and vision, right? But you want to empower them to operate with totally different rules and you know, to find solutions that disrupt ourselves, whether that is related to the product portfolio or how we operate with our farmers or supply chain or how we leverage digital health, for instance, and the intersection of digital health and, um, and personalized consumption. You know, uh, that is about making sure we don't have a Kodak moment.